lights have come down over the Stadio Olimpico. We have the men's 200 meters. This is Eric Erlandson, set a personal best of 2052 in his semi final, still 20 years of age. Walking to the inside to lane one. It's going to be nine men in this final. Alongside him, Thomas Nemec. Nemec from Chechia. Also ran a personal best of 20.52, and they couldn't separate Nemec and Erlandson. William Rees, 2021 European under 23 champion, now looking to show off his best on the senior stage. The man who is still the European under 20 record holder from 2021. Blessing a free bar. Esaiolo Desayu, part of Italy's Olympic gold medal winning 4x100 meters quartet. There's two Italians in this final. He's followed out by his compatriot Filippo Tortu, bronze medalist in 2022 in this long sprint. A sub 10 man at his best, former Italian record holder in the shorter distance. And he's running very close to his best, around 2014 in his semi final. This is the man who many people would consider to be the favorite. Pablo Mateo, the Frenchman. 20.03 earlier this year and looked absolutely majestic in his semi final. He'll be in lane seven. The German record holder, Joshua Hartmann, last year ran 20.02. Look good in his semi-finals, but he's going to need to raise his game if he's going to challenge the likes of Tortu and Matteo. And then filling the outside lane, lane nine, Timotei Mutanhala. 2021 under 23 silver medalist. Well, 50 years ago, this was the event that propelled Pietro Manea into the spotlight and the glaze of world athletics fans. Manea went on to set the still existing European record of 1972. And as a side note, no Britons in this final for the first time since 1994. Italy took gold in the 100 meters thanks to Lamont Marcel Jacobs. Can they make it two sprint titles through his relay partners, either Desalu or Tortu? Or can Pablo Matteo spoil the party? So, crouching down from the inside, Erlandsson, Sweden, Nemec, Czechia, Reese, Switzerland. Free for Israel, Desaru, Italy, Tortu, also Italy, Matteo, France, Hartmann, Germany, and Mumentala, Switzerland, the men's 200 meters final. So. Uh, it's a recall. Tim. Did you see what happened there? No, I didn't. That was a, a long shot. That shot, rather, was a, from a long way away. A high camera. Very hard to spot it when you're not closer down to ground level. But let's have a look at the times. And Hartmann, the German, in lane eight. It looks like he might have transgressed. Let's hope not. There's been a lot of leniency, in my opinion. And plenty of people are saying the same thing in the media uh, community in, at these championships over the last four days for uh, what lo have looked like full starts. Watch second to top the yellow vest to Hartmann of Germany. Yeah. Oh. I don't think, think that there's was much visible. dispute about that. There's, yeah. uh, that's really sad, but I don't think this needs to be a long discussion. Well, it's come through, guys. There's a 0.028 reaction time. Exactly. For Hartmann in Germany and all our track and field fans <laughs> yeah. around the world watching us on our European athletic stream. 
know that the legal limit is nothing below 0.1. Uh, German athletics fans holding their breath and clutching their faces. Hartmann, he knows. He knows. Cap, don't they 99% of the time sprinters know? You, you've been there and done it. Did you ever, were you a little naughty transgressor? I don't think I ever was, because that's why I ended up at 400 metres. I wasn't quite quick <laughs> enough on 100 and 200. You mean you couldn't have full started if you'd tried? OK. Track officials out. She's got a full selection of cards there. I'm just wondering which one she's going to pull out the back. No. Hartman is disqualified. No leniency in this situation. And as Tim Hutchings alongside me was describing, yes, it was on the replay very clear. We're looking at it from a very, very long distance away, almost the exact opposite side of the stadium. So Hartman parts from the arena or at least the track and the men's 200 meters final is reduced to eight men yeah harsh but they all know the rules and he's accepted it well taking it on the chin yes so once again they move forward Erlandsson, sweden nemec of czechia greece switzerland a free for israel Desaiulo, Italy, Torto, Italy, Matteo, France, lane eight now empty, Mumentalo of Switzerland out on lane nine. Well, they're away cleanly this time. Tortu running extremely well. He's quick out of blocks as befits a sub 10 100 meter man. And it's Tortu coming into the bend ahead. Now Desaiulo pushing hard. Reese as well having an absolutely fantastic race. But Tortu accelerating on the outside. Momentala has come through like an absolute train over the final 80 meters. Unbelievable for Momentala. It's a personal best by almost one-tenth of a second. I don't think the others in the middle, Desaiulu, Matteo and Tortu, had any idea he was moving so quick. They had the beating of him round the bend, and it's going to be Mumentala confirmed at 20.28. Delight for Switzerland, Tortu, 20.41, and it's two Swiss men on the podium with William Rees taking the bronze. Well, Tortu looking stunned there. He thought he had that in the bag. He blasted the bend. It was a very obvious. He ran it very, very hard indeed. Was well up on the uh, athletes outside him. Within seconds, within four or five seconds, he had a significant lead on the rest of the field. And the 200's a long way. It's a long, long home straight if you run that bend too hard, Phil. He misjudged his effort, didn't spread it well. If it had been a 150, fine. He'd have blitzed it, but it wasn't. It was a 200. Now, tell you what, Momentala timed it to perfection. He spread his effort over the full 200 metres, came through brilliantly over the last 20, 30 metres, decisively so. And the fellows in between, I think maybe all got caught up a little bit trying to catch Tortu, uh, and, and he perhaps made more of them tire in that section between 130 to go and 170 to go. And I just wonder how significant it was, the fact that there was an empty lane as well, lane 8. It's a long way around to 200 metres. It's also a long way from the middle of those lanes out to lane 9. They didn't have any idea he was moving so fast. It's a goal in the women's pole vault for Switzerland and another goal to close the night. Quite a night in the mountains. The cowbells will be rattling. The cuckoo clocks will be clocking or cuckooing. And a bit of product placement. The Toberoans oh, will be you, you, you can't, and the other, the other chocolate bars are available. That was fantastic, though. I mean, brilliant from Momentala. Good to see a fella from the outside lane, one of the outside bets. Certainly not a favourite coming through like that so decisively. And, uh, yes, yeah, stunning tour to that. The look on his face of shock there. Well, I'm just so pleased for him. I mean, his biggest triumph in the past is taking a silver medal at the European Under-23 Championships. Personal best on the continental stage. What more can you want? Well, Hartman disqualified. Matteo disqualified. Crossed the line in sixth place, but obviously must have put a foot on the line, the inside line of his uh, lane. But it doesn't affect the main results, does it? It's Bumatala 
followed home by Tortu and Reese as well. Switzerland, Italy, Switzerland.